Mario! What? Jeez, just because I take a break in between episodes doesn't mean you always have to take a freaking nap. I'm sorry, you're so boring. What? You think we're just like hanging out and I'm just not saying anything in between our breaks? Pretty much. What, you think it's just two days of us sitting here doing nothing? Or three. Or three. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anyway, it was no way to lost his head. I need a good head on my shoulders. Do you know of anybody in need of a good body? Please, I'll follow you if you do. You better, you asshole. So anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more of Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS. This is your host, the MJ406. And hey, there's no star on the radar here for this mission. I forgot, some of them don't actually show up, but you have to kind of figure it out. But then again, if you read the hint, you should be able to easily tell. Right, buddy? Oh no! Talk about out of body experiences! My body is melted away! Oh my god! If you want to do any headhunters lately, I could show you as a new body! Headhunters? Are you serious? Oh, my face might freeze like this! You're a snowman! You should be frozen anyway! I don't know what the big deal is, but whatever. Oh god, is it coming this way? Help! There we go, now we're good. Hey, I like it! Good, I'm glad you do. Perfect! What a great little body! Here, this is a present for you. It's sure to warm you up. Huh, no wonder why I melted the first time. I wonder! I wonder why, you moron! Gee, you think you melted because I don't know. You freaking had a star in you! I mean, I figure power like that is probably warming. So, you know, you're a moron! Here we go. Ah! They changed the name of this mission, but it's basically the same. Mario Super Wall Kick. Hope we made the cannon available, because otherwise... Well... You'll have a hard time reaching this one, probably. Although... Hang on! Ow! That sucked! Damn it! Nope, they didn't make it easier. So hopefully we activated the cannon. I don't know where the star is. We're like in the middle of the damn mountain. Well, don't worry. If you do this, you'll find it in no time. Hit that tree to get over here. Do a nice little hidden away section. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me, coming through. This is the fun part in the Nintendo 64 version. Get a running start off the slope of the long jump. Remember how to do it? Just run, crouch, and then jump. You don't need it here, but, well, it's always advised. Now to truly learn about wall jumping. Do you know the famous wall jump? I will do a high place by first jumping toward a wall. As soon as you touch the wall, jump again and rock it in the air. Only well, superhero the red hat can trap can jump this high. Practice it well. Then we can get to News and Mario Brothers where Luigi finally learns it. I guess this is the game Luigi was like, Wait, brother's been hiding that wolf from me this whole time? How dare he? That's horror! It's okay, Luigi. Mario's just better than you in every way. You just have to accept it. Except he's not. How dare you say that I'm not? I was kind of kidding, dude. Jeez. Sorry, I had a lot of... I've had a lot of non-believers in my life. Oh, yeah, I never met you yet. The reason I ended... Ah, damn it. The reason I ended the last episode when I did was because we're at the halfway point. I said, there's one extra star in every mission of this game. Switch star of Cool Cool Mountain. The new one for this one. Every other one is the same. Even the red coin locations are the same. The snowball slower for the snowman's head one, though, which is nice. I don't think it's a good idea! Nope. <laughs> well, that was fun. Switch stars, you all it's different about this level. Everything else is, like, exactly the same, except for the snowman body being slower for the snowman's head mission. Which could still only be done in Mission 5, the one specific to the snowman head. You think I was still smart? No! Oh god! Oh, I get- ah! That hurt! It'll be fine. Now hang on a sec. Well, I was gonna say, any of the last episode I did was at 75, because we're at the halfway point of the game, pretty much. How dare you! At least the hat doesn't move when you kill the Goomba wearing it. 
I need Wario because... Notice the crystal thing in there. You can do this with Wario, but it's not exactly advised. But I'll try it once anyway. You just need Wario to break the ice. Do that first. Because otherwise, you're going to be wasting time. And well, this mission sucks. Anyway, yeah, the end of the last episode is the halfway point. Because, well, there's 15 extra castle secret missions. And there's 15 extra missions combined through all the stages of the game. One for every level. So you can probably figure it out. Yeah, careful of that wind, by the way. If it throws you up there makes you go in the s snow, chances are you'll lose time. So try to make sure you don't get caught in the snow like that if you can help it. You're better off landing on the tree if you can manage. But, well, I tried and failed. There we go. That's all the first six levels done. Oh, yeah, we did half a dire, dire docks. I forgot about that. I could just finish that off now, but... Eh, it'll probably go too quickly. Although I didn't get the 100 coin star. Eh, we'll do it in order. I usually like to wait to a certain point, but I do like to do things in order, typically, if I can remember. It seems half-assed of me, and you know what? You're probably right. It is. But fuck you! Mario, don't say fuck you to them. Anyway, next mission is Boil the Big Bully and Leave the Lava Land. Ah, uh, this level's a nice, pleasant treat. It's hot and on fire. Don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back. It's one-on-one -on -one with the fire eater for the loser. Ooh, sounds epic as shit. 20 man circles make some bad guys roll their eyes. You just touch it run smoothly. Did I just hear that right? Don't worry, big eyeball. You'll be okay. It's Lethal Lava Land. If you catch fire or fall into a pool of flames, you'll be hopping mad. You can still control your character. Just don't lose your cool. See, by this point, they kind of assume you have at least Luigi. And they assume you have Wario after you get through the ninth mission, so... I wouldn't worry about that. Oh, great, one of you again. Ha! I trapped you! Now you're dead. Hey! Where'd he go? That's bullshit! Where'd he go? I am trapped in here! Those would have been so impressed! Oh, there he is. Oh, he's doing the running around trick again. You're an idiot, dude. Oh, there he goes again, running around like a fool. He thinks, oh, God, no! Why? Why is this happening to me? Jeez, they just can't get dizzy, can Oh, God! Yeah, careful lava, by the way. It hurts. If you touch lava like that, you will burn. And burn terribly for it. Hey, bully. What the hell is that shit, bitch? Oh, what the? Ha! <laughs> so, yeah, bullies! If you don't remember the powers through the second stage, there you go. You gotta push them in the lava to kill them. You can either punch them, dive at them, jump on them, or ground pound on them. Either way, you gotta push them in the lava, because they are invincible either way. No matter how you go about it, they are completely invincible. So... You gotta kill them with your own strength and determination. Bully the bullies! Oh, good! I get to mess with bullies! I get to get rid of my high school grudges! Your high school grudges? Yeah! Dude, being bullied in high school sucks! You wouldn't know what that's like! I guess not, because I was more bullied in middle school. Was it everybody? I guess so. I had it worse in middle school. Ugh. I feel bad for middle schoolers. I keep remembering. I feel like people are their absolute worst when they, like, are on their way to becoming teenagers. Between the ages of, like, 10 and, like, 14, they're really nasty. If you happen to be somebody who's, well, 10, between the ages of 10 and 15, I'm not calling you out saying you're an asshole. Willy. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. Just from my exp personal experience, and even kids of my age, mind you, I'm not saying nowadays, being 10 to 15 was the worst time in my life. Oh, yeah. You found 80 power stars. The mystery of the endless stairs is all thanks to you. What the endless stairs? The spells are ever upset. Now, on to the final showdown. I show the endless stairs. Oh, yeah, you did. Ass. A coin puzzle, 15 pieces. Why not? 
Let's do this. Oh yeah, by the way, shortcut. <laughs> you just jump to this island. You don't have to warp there. Also, you warp under where the eyeball is, but I really wanted to be weird about it. Look, my hands are facing the puzzle. Isn't it great? Yeah, it's uh, certainly something. Ow! Another easy one. It's actually the easiest star ever, Bowser. That was appreciated. But yeah. I just... If you're a young kid who's like around your early teens or before early teens, you feel like people are shitty or people suck. Also, beware of my swearing. Don't act like me. I'm an immature old asshole. Case in point. But either way... Yeah... Being around that age was like the worst time of my life. I hated it then. I mean, I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan of people during that time. It just, I don't know. Being in middle school sucked. That's when most people are finally trying to hit their maturity. And well, I had a lot of problems with people that were going through that time. But again, the people I tend to have problems with in middle school, ended up doing drugs come high school. And I started hanging out and being like gang and gangs and shit. No wonder why I had trouble with them. They had bad attitudes to begin with. That being said, though, I know middle school could be a tough time. I wouldn't say I honestly had an easier time through high school than middle school. And then again, I guess I learned to apply myself more come high school. Still, oh god, I should probably get 100 coins now, huh? Yeah, it's probably the 100 coins now, because hot foot in the volcano. You probably guess we're going to another area, so... Yeah. Hop on the shiny shell and ride wherever you want to go. Shred those enemies. Which is right here. Thank you, the DS version. These things re-emerge. Just don't do that. Am I stupid? Oh my god! Ha 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 ha! I got beaten up by a bully! Mommy! I got touched by a bully! Mario, get back in there! And also, I can't believe you're almost out of lives. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize till now. I only have two lives left. Hey, you should play like I actually know this game and not like an asshole. So, yeah, you can ride the lava with this thing. It's pretty nice. But, yeah, I keep distracting myself from what I'm trying to say. I honestly felt like... Oh, really? What the fuck? That was a bull crap. I honestly felt like for me, growing up, middle school was the worst time. Because people were more immature and all that. Thinking I was always mature because I was always like an adult, even when I was in my teens. Not true. <laughs> Not true at all. But still. Just, if you're trying to look, get through high school, I'll just say this. Make a good group of friends. Those are always good for you. And college as well, I guess. A good group of friends goes a long way. And this is coming from somebody who for a very long time had, like, no friends to speak of. Like, seriously, I had, like, no friends at all. I should get the blue star. By the way, you're on this puzzle by the time it completes. You get a 15 coins. Or up to 15 coins, I should say. And they only show up once, so make sure you grab as many as you can before they disappear. I gotta stop doing that! You yeah, should use a touch screen. Mario, no. Don't use a touch screen. It's a bad idea. No, 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 Take that! I got my aggression out. Hey, bully! Oh, it's a little pipsqueak again. How's it feel, bitch? How's it feel? Fuck you! Fuck you! I hope you're dead, dude! Over kid, most bullies have troubled lives too. That's why they bully in the first place. I kind of see it as a way for them to get their aggression out. Ow! Well, it's not always as cliched as it is in movies and TV shows where bullies are just looking for a good friend to have. I had bullies that, well, had lots of. I had some bullies in elementary school that had a decent bit of friends. They always said to be the older kids. Then again, if a younger kid's trying to bully an older kid, that's just a dick move. I mean, not that it's unheard of, just it's a dick move. Like, seriously. 
I would say respect your elders, but they're only a few years older than you, or one year older than you for all I know. It's just dumb. Bullying's not needed, but you know, just make sure everybody has a friend. That's all that needs to be said. Hopefully you have friends due to life. Always look to them for inspiration. Good thing that doesn't slow down unless I'm actually on it. So, welcome to the volcano! This place is a nice, pleasant trip through hell. I love hell! Well, good for you. You're in it. Anyway, this is like one of the easiest levels in the game for me. This level is very nice and, con and condensed. So a lot of things in this level are easy to find. And see, even in these areas, they have an, ex an extra hat for you for all the characters. Whoa! And while there's places plenty of traps, easy places for you to die if you're not careful. Camera, could you stay behind me and not freaking be an asshole? Let's try to play this way. This is gonna be fun. Oh god. Don't press L. Don't hold L on this, by the way. Especially this angle, because, well. Ah! No! You got a life! Don't run from it! But what about the. What about the run away from your life challenge? The run away from your life? Oh, yeah! I forgot. One of the challenges people like to have in this game. One of the challenges people like to have in this game is they try to run away from a one up that chases them as they try to get stars. I forgot about that. It's actually kind of fun. I like the idea. I wouldn't go after it myself, but I do like the idea. I won't lie. Hmm. I was trying to think to myself. I don't remember what the last star is here, but I remember. All right, then. Let's go this way, shall we? Come, friends. I'll take Luigi hat so it's easy to survive. I say, I love being Luigi in this game. He may have bad traction, but the fact it feels like he runs faster, he does swim faster, and the fact he's great, the greatest jumping ability of all of them. Ah, uh, it's so easy to go through this game as Luigi. But you need the wall jump, that's why I always have Mario on hand. Again, you can always just choose to be Yoshi throughout the majority of the game, just select the hats you want for each mission, but... Eh. Yoshi gets his time to shine in the beginning of the game. This game's more or less about Mario, as always, so... That's why I do it that way. Ah! God, thank goodness for this ground pounder. I'd be falling a lot more. The loose movement just doesn't feel right sometimes. There we go. I get it! That's the greatest! Yay! Brother! Quit watching me being you! Get good, bitch! Jeez, Mario, you don't have to bring him down. I didn't mean to save yet, but whatever. So, here's the only difference in this level. Flaming Silver Stars, your extra star mission. Use the Koopa Shell to get some stars. Oh, so let me get that Wario hat and break this black block. I'm curious to see what's inside. African-American block. Don't you dare. What? Mm. Besides, isn't that term technically wrong, African-American? What are you saying? I mean... That's assuming they're in America, but they were born in Africa. Oh, here we go! I'm just saying. There's a blue coin switch here? I never knew that this whole time. There's a blue coin switch here. Holy shit. There we go. No, I'm trapped with a hat! Damn it! There we go. Now I'm good. So yeah, if I was a blue coin switch... Don't jump at, don't jump when you get charged at by a bully. They have a blue coin switch here this whole time, I never noticed. Ah, look at that. Holy shit, that's a lot of blue coins. Okay, so screw it. Use this mission to get the 100 coins. Oh my god. Oh yeah, by the way, when you're on the shell like this, sometimes you're going super fast. But if you try to hurt the camera and get locked. No! Hey! Yeah, by the way, hopping out of the lava and into them can actually hurt them too. <laughs> well, not hurt them, but you know, push them. 
So, wow. If you have Wario and have that shell available to you, use that to get the 100 coins. I guess you could do that in the inside the volcano mission, but... With that blue coin switch, you can get easily more than 100 coins around here. Oh, my God. Also, thank goodness this thing regenerates. Hmm. Is it me, or can I not see a certain silver star? Oh, there it is. He was hiding behind the numbers. See? They usually actually make use of the shell in this game. They only did it for, like, one mission back in, uh... You know, the original version of the game. Yeah. What was I talking about before this mission got in my head? Make friends? Is that about it? Yeah, make friends. No! Ah, my control's still loose! You suck! You suck! You suck! Shut up! Just go. Stop telling me I suck. Just get going. But you suck. I will admit, though, that was embarrassing. One of the most embarrassing deaths I had in the game so far. In all fairness, though, they did say you lose control when you're on fire. They weren't kidding. I did kind of lose control there a little bit. You could somewhat control what you're doing, but not fully. I hate the camera locks when you're going fast on the shell. Feels like a giant annoyance. And it is. At least there's a lot of lives at this stage. Stop locking, camera! Oh well. You'll get over it, I guess. Take that, bitch. At least it's a great place to get lives because of the shell shredding. I still can't believe I never knew about that blue coin switch before. Why did I do that? Well, at least I'm safe now. That star is as good as mine. Bitch, give me that! Did you have to kick it? Yeah, I had to break it free, so I kicked it! I kicked it like the bitch it was! Good for you? Anyway, make friends and prosper. That, that's really all I have to say about that matter. Make friends, I'll help make life better for you. You know, let's do the first mission of this level. By the way, there's a level here. Shifting Sandland, my personal least favorite level of the game. At least in the original version. In the talents of the Big Bird. Welcome to Shifting Sandland, this place sucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with my friend's spiel. Just make friends, you'll be happier in life that way. Anyway, Shifting Sandland. There's a lot of sand here, and well, this place is hell. It's very easy to die here. That's why. You should probably try to learn how to fly around. It'll make things easier for you. Notice the star is moving around. So I will do this now. We'll fly around. And if you can't tell, there's a lot of quicksand. Don't touch it if you know it's good for you. Hey, is that bird holding a star? Klepto! Klepto, you asshole! Get over here! Ow! That you get, asshole? Ow! You dickhead! No, don't touch me! How dare you touch me! You filth! You filth! Get your filthy, twisterty hands off me! Anyway, yeah! We have that bird! He had a star, Klepto the Condor! The three is called Klepto, we'll go into that next time! Just know he's an asshole, that's all you need to know! Come on, just be friends, you bully! I don't want friends, I just wanna steal your shit! Fuck you! And there we go. I'll just end the episode here since I'll go back to this level anyway. No need to go to the lobby every single time. It's a big waste of time anyway. So, we completed two more stages and started another one. Come back next time, we'll complete more of this fantastic adventure. Me will learn to not die for once. I know I've had some stupid deaths, but like I said, this game controls like you're drunk trying to be sober. So in a way, it's more awkward. Even though in some things it does control better. better. You done? Yeah, I'm done. See you guys next time.